Hi, how's it going everybody? Today, I'm making an apple jelly. Wow, that really fogged up my whole lens. We'll get through that stuff. I'm making an apple jelly, so I've got the skins and the cores from the apple marmalade that I made just the other day, yesterday, from the rest of this batch. And I've got this simmering and getting all its good juices in there. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon to it, lemon juice. And then we're going to do the sugar. We've got our jars in the water bath sanitizing. And we'll finish them out there. We'll find out how much we get once I strain all the, the apple bits out of here. Okay, hi, here I'm back with my uh, apple jelly. I've strained off the apple bits and got me nine half pints of sugar. And I shouldn't have added the liquid to the bottom of this bowl, but I can add some more and liquefy what we have. So we're going to melt this down and clarify. It's only going to take a few minutes. Sugar melts pretty quick. It's almost all good. Add a little bit more of the apple juice. Mix that around. Add a little more apple juice. Mix that around. And we'll just keep adding to it until it's all cooked down. And then we're going to add our gelatin. I'm going to add four packs of gelatin to this. And I will get back to you in just a few. Thank you. I'm now making my apple jelly. I got some gelatin that I'm giving a quick mix to to break it up and get it activated in its way. It's not like yeast, but you don't want to just throw it into the juice the way it is because it'll clump up. Break it up real good like this. So the next thing is I got my apple juice and sugar with lemon over here. And it's simmering away. So now what I'll do is I'm going to put our gelatin in. It's already been liquefied so we don't get that clumping. Mix it out. Mix it out. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we're going to bring this up to a boil and let it simmer for a while like this. I'm going to take drop of butter and put it in on the top help prevent some foaming just a little touch of butter and we're going to bring it to a boil and let it simmer for at least a good 10 to 20 minutes maybe a half hour or more and our jars are just happily waiting Right there, just happily waiting. Back with you, thank you. So, there's our little touch of butter. I almost immediately broke the bubbles down, make it less bubbly and more clear. We'll have a better product at the end. Okay, so, I have my apple jelly. It's been simmering on the stove since I added the gelatin for at least a good hour and the level in the pan dropped by more than an inch so now 
I'll fill up my jars and take it from there. Get back to you in a few when they're all nice and full. Okay, so now we got our jars all full. This one here is going to be my own. It's a little bigger and different. So I got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen jars out of that. It came out really well. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe all the tops with a nice clean little paper towel. Make sure everybody's surface is going to accept the seals which are in the hot water bath, sanitized and clean. And then we're going to put the jars in the water bath and top it off. Make sure it's all good. Thank you. Okay, so we've got our nice clean towel. We just want to clean the tips, the tops. Do our best just to have all the jelly off the edges, all the liquid. Okay, so now I've got my apple jelly in the water bath. I got one big one and 15 little ones, one pint and 15 half pints. One pint is mine. So then I'm going to get them up to a bubble and let them go for 20 minutes and then take them out from there. Thank you. 